everyone I hope you're doing well welcome back to my channel if you're new here then you would know that I post four videos a week at the moment all beauty related videos because that's what I like I love makeup and if you're interested in that then stick around because this is quite a fun video for me to film so usually when I used to do videos like this on my channel they didn't really get many views I kind of stopped doing them but now I've realised that they're my favourite type of videos to watch. When people swatch their favourite lipsticks, their go-to lipsticks, they're always the types of videos I go for. Before I delve into what kind of shades I wear for what season, let's just start off with my go-to lipsticks. And I have about... <laughs> I have nine. I don't have ten, which I'm quite annoyed at myself for, because I tried finding like that tenth colour that I go for, and there wasn't one that I could really find. So there's nine of my favourite shades here that over the years I have absolutely loved. They might have been new loves this year, or new loves for like five years. Um, and the first one is already on my lips, and this is from this tutorial, which is the Barry M Wildlife Palette tutorial. This is the Barry M shade 169, it's one of their satin lipsticks that just look like this. I will swatch it for you. Now you'll see a trend that I really love, like dusky pink colours and this is one of my favourite ones because it's very creamy, it's not matte, it is a satin finish, they do dry down as you can see over time. I've eaten with this on and it's still there and I love it and these are, if I check the prices, I think they're very affordable. So these little lipsticks are £4.99 so you don't get a whole lot of product in them, like just that amount which isn't like, I feel like there's less product in these because they're so small but I've never used one up and I used to use 169 like crazy and the whole reason I think I got into this lipstick is if you used to watch Velvet Ghost who's now Gabriella um, or Gabby here on YouTube she is the whole reason I bought this lipstick and I love this I'm not gonna go in order of like what's my ninth what's my eighth favorite I'm just gonna start off with I'm just gonna grab things because these are my go-to's these are what I go to all the time there's no like hierarchy so you'll notice that all my go-to lipsticks are kind of in the same shade range like like I said I love dusky rose um, lipsticks and this next one is the MUA Luxe lipstick they have these lovely gold palette cup these lovely gold packagings they are velvet matte lipsticks and they have like a black um, little bullet here they very they feel very luxurious and they're only three pounds and I love the fact that they're only three pounds I have the whole range because I got them when they were three for two this is the shade here and what it looks like on my lips and this is its swatch next to the Barry M lipstick as you can see it's a bit more darker and it's got more of your brownie pink undertones to it and I completely love this lipstick it is a velvet matte lipstick so it dries down matte but it's still creamy so it's like a satin finish for me again but just a little bit more matte than the Barry M ones as you can see there's no like sheen to it and I absolutely love this lipstick another MUA lipstick and this is the MUA velvet lipstick in the shade secret um, these ones are only three pounds again I've got a few of these colors I don't have the whole range for this one um, and let me just apply it and show you why it's one of my favourite lipsticks. So this one is in the shade Secret and it is this one right here. It's much more drier formula than the MUA Luxe one that I just um, swatched. It's more of like your nudie beige colour. I love this colour. As you can see, I love to put like a darker lip line around it. Like this one goes really well here with... MUA's lip liner in Obsession and also what's the other darker liner I like? One of the Peaches and Cream lip liners, the darkest one is what I love. This is so much more drier, like it's harder to move around, but I absolutely love it. Like always go for one of these lipsticks. The only thing about the only con to this lipstick is like the shape of it. It's got like this weird hex diagonal hexagon type thing like it's all lined which means like it, I find it harder with my cupid's bow because I have a very curved one 
and because it's so straight it kind of like sometimes overlines it in a weird way so see only con to these lipsticks but i do love the fact that they are so affordable and they're one of my favorite lipstick formulas even though they're they're a bit matte but they stay on your lips and they're not as like drying as some matte lip, lip as some matte lipsticks like I love I just love bullet lipsticks I'm not really like a liquid lipstick type of person I'm like a lipstick and a lip gloss with a lip liner that's me sorted always have been I've bought a, a lot of liquid lipsticks over the years but I always go back to bullets so this is a MAC lipstick as you can see one of my all-time favorite MAC lipsticks is Brave and I remember when the Kylie Jenner hype started and she used to I overline her lips and people were like oh what lipstick is that and it was between like Brave and Blankety and obviously I had to get both um, this is Brave on my lips right now so Brave is this shade here I've also swatched it over here for you which is like a really like light dusky pink shade some few more undertones but I used to love this with well or saw lip liner my favorite combo um these are in the so brave is a satin formula so it means it's like it's not matte but it's not creamy but they feel really creamy even though like I have satin lipsticks like the Barry M one it feels really similar to how the Barry M lipstick feels on my lips and they are so soft and so smooth and I absolutely love this shade. Again the only con to this lipstick is how fucking expensive they are. I think these are like £18 now, £19 and when I first started buying MAC lipsticks I think they were £12.50 and I used that's when I bought a lot of them and people used to be like oh if I counted how many you've got I could go on holiday with that money which is not probably true but yeah the downfall is how expensive these are but they're amazing lipsticks I've had them for years they're not going off and um, they smell amazing they glide on easily so they are worth the investment if you want to buy them um, I'm going to quickly put on blankety for you just to show you what that one looks like because it's kind of like um, a lighter nude shade than brave so this is the shade of Blankety, it is so much more lighter than Brave, I think this is why I used Brave more than I did use Blankety back in the day, and that is the shade there, it's just, I don't think I'd wear it as much anymore, but I used to wear this all the time, I do really need like a dark brown lip liner, but I've only brought like, like a pinky lip liner because I wear a lot of dusky shades, so this isn't as much as my go-to as Blankety was, um, Brave was, but I do absolutely adore this with like a dark brown lip liner. I think it looks incredible if it's blended out um, perfectly. This shade here is Cake by Soph Does Life now here on YouTube. Um, I have like two of these. I have like, she's got a collection of three of these lipsticks. They're three pounds. They're so creamy, like, they're the creamiest formula of lipstick that I own. Like, they glide on perfectly. They're even creamier than the Barry M ones. This is the shade here on the left. Again, it's all in the same colour family. Like, it's a very, like, light pink colour. I do, again, love this with a nice dark brown lip liner. At the moment, my favourite dark brown lip liner has to be the MUA Obsession. You'll see that in a few of my videos sometimes, that I like to use that. And this is what the shade looks like. It looks like a light brown, but when you swatch it, it's more of like your pink shade. And I absolutely love these little lipsticks. They're so creamy. They're easy to just throw on in your bag. And when they, of course they come off quite easily because they don't really dry down or anything, but they're so easy to top up. And I love this shade. Usually these um, lipsticks, you can pull off the little bottom and it's like a little lip gloss thing. But I never use that, I like to keep that there so I know the shade at the bottom. But yeah, I love the fact, and it's also, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but got her name engraved here on the lipstick. Hopefully you can see that. Next is another Revolution lipstick, and this is in the shade Greatest. This is one of their Renaissance lipsticks, and that is it in the bullet on my lips. 
and I've also swatched it right here. Now this one feels like to me that it's the same shade as whatever lipstick this was. Brave, I think it's the same shade as Brave by MAC. It's a little bit lighter than Brave. So Brave is here and that's the Renaissance lipstick. And it's just that little bit lighter. But they're near enough the same lipstick. And these Renaissance lipsticks, I'm not sure how much they are. Let me check on the Revolution website. I can't find them on their website, but I swear they were like three pounds. Again, I should have brought over a brown lip liner because I literally just use a brown lip liner with all these lipsticks. I find with the pink, they just don't, it doesn't really look as great as it could do, but with a brown lip liner, they look amazing. And the Renaissance lipsticks are so creamy. Like, it's as creamy as the Soph lipstick. Um, and yeah, I always reach for it. It's in the shade Greatest. I also have the lip liner to match this shade because I absolutely love this shade. It's like your perfect light dusky pink shape, shade. Um, as you can tell, that's the kind of shade I really enjoy using. This lipstick is one of the Gigi Hadid lipsticks in the shade Tora. I love like the packaging on these. It is literally her name in silver writing. It's a nude packaging. And then the lipstick, this is a very nude shade, as you can tell. And I absolutely love Maybelline's lipsticks. They smell great. They glide on amazingly. It is smooth, but just not as smooth as the Soph ones or the Renaissance ones, because they are very creamy. And this one I love to pair with like a pink lip liner. I usually do like a brown, but this one with a pink one is amazing. That is the shade down here. I'm not really swatching them that great. Um, but yeah, I love these. Maybelline lipsticks are £6.99 now. They used to be £5.99. But I always get them on offer in Super Drugs or Boots when they're on like three for two. Because I just love their lipsticks. The lipstick formula is one of my top lipstick formulas out there. I love the packaging that is square because they really fit into my lipstick towers amazingly. Um, yeah, I don't have a fault for this. I think they're great lipsticks for their price. And I have one more Maybelline lipstick that is my final go-to shade. And then that's it, we're finished. And you will know all my favorite go-to shades. They're all, they're probably, I should do a video on my go-to red lipsticks because I don't really wear red, that's why I didn't show one. But if I do wear red, I'm gonna show you my favorite go-to red lipsticks. So stay tuned for that. If you want that, please tell me below. Um, but I do want to show you my favourite red ones. But let's get into my last colour. The final lipstick. My final go-to lipstick is the Maybelline Matte Colour Sensational Lipsticks in the shade Nude Embrace. They come in these lovely like frosted blue um, lids. And then this is the shade. I have used this lipstick for years. I absolutely love this lipstick, love this lip colour. It's creamy and they do go down to a little bit matte, but you, they're still movable on your lips. They look matte as well, which is nice. Um, but I used to love pairing this one with like a gloss over it. And I have some... What are they? Maybelline lip glosses that I love pairing with this and they're like they look they're in like a clear glass and then they look like they have like a lipstick in them but they're a gloss and I used to love pairing this lipstick with one of those glosses and if I can find it I'll try and insert a picture or something because it was one of my favourite like lip combos like three years ago <laughs> but I still use that lip those combo. Those are all my go-to lipsticks. There's nine of them. I wish there was ten. Um, and I absolutely love every single one of them. This is the shade down here of that nude embrace. I'm sad that this video is finished because I would love to talk about lipsticks all day long. They are my favorite bit of makeup, that and a bit of highlight. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below and leave any requests. I've still got, a, I'm gonna try and film my palette <laughs> Um, collection which is gonna be a very long one so yeah if you've got any other requests any lipstick requests or liquid lipsticks feel free throw my way because I love lipsticks so yeah bye guys <laughs>